In this demonstration of ancient earth, I'm going to focus in on what we call plate locking. First of all, let me explain what the problem plate locking solves for you. For example, if you want to take a look at the history of North America throughout um, the time since the breakup of Pangaea, we would look at find North America and then use our finger to change the time frame. But as you can see, there's a problem. North America moves away from us. And we would have to keep updating the position of North America as we go back in time. Now, <clears throat> that gives us a realistic demonstration of what's going on. But how can we keep that in view the whole time? Well, that's where this feature of plate locking comes in. If you see this icon with the lock symbol, you can tap that icon and we can see a list of tectonic plates. And we can choose any of these. And what will happen is Ancient Earth will focus on that plate alone. So if we choose North America, we're now focused on North America. Now notice that if I tap the screen, move it around or anything, nothing happens because the image is now locked. We can scale it. But the position is locked. We can't move it anywhere. And if we go through time, we are fixed on North America the whole time. Now, if we unlock it, we can go back to free movement. And we're back to free movement of the maps. We can also unlock it. So now we're back to have a lock state. You can also lock, unlock it with a double tap. So now it's unlocked. And notice that the lock symbol up top will change depending on whether the map is locked or not. It can be somewhat unsettling at times if the map is locked and you forget. So that's why we have this symbol will change. That's plate locking. It gives you a, a better view of a particular continent through time by locking its position on the map.